So I decided to do the one called Nine Ways to Get Building Materials Cheap or Free. No, sorry, the firm's so I'm just going to jump right in here and do this one. Then I think I'm going to work on a painting tonight because my back is killing me. So here we go. And this does not help me any. Oh, that hurts. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Just a second. Okay. All right, here we go. You dream of building a homestead, but you're flat out of money. Here are some strategies. There. Here are some strategies. Uh, yeah. To get the materials and services you need for cheap or free. Yeah, yes. In the past three years of building our homestead no, from scratch, we've gotten pretty good at scouting out detail, scouting out deals on building materials. But around here, we'll be able to get a bunch of pallets. Really <sighs> Sorry. So that'll help out. We've done that the vast majority of the build for cash. To go with that, we don't have ridiculously high incomes. We both work varying degrees of full or part-time as teachers and freelancers in the course of the build. Since we're not exactly rolling in cash, we've figured out ways to get the materials and services we've needed for the house for way less than buying at retail. Here are our best tips and tricks for building the homestead you want, even when you have next to no money. There's another one that says follow up with seven additional ways to save money on building materials you might not have thought of with some of our favorite suggestions. Okay. Anyway. So nine ways to get building materials for cheap or free. Number one, look for free and cheap items on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. This should be your obvious first stop on your quest to get cheap or free materials for your homestead. It's relatively easy to find anything from shipping pallets to furniture, lumber to appliances in the free section. Sometimes you'll even find free items listed in other sections or listed alongside of priced items with a single posting. Sorry, I'm tired. Aside from free, your next best bets are materials, farm and garden, general and household. Searching by category beyond that can be hit or miss, so be sure to use the search feature. Remember to, remember to search for multiple I iterations iterations of an item laundry laundry tub laundry sink and utility tub can all mean the same thing looking for something in particular set up alerts in both Craigslist and Facebook's mar hey set up alerts in both Craigslist and Facebook marketplace to get notifications of new listings matching your search. Girl, Number two, job. find online auction houses. Sorry. There are plenty of these to be found in rural, rural and metropolitan areas alike. One of our family members absolutely loves visiting country auction houses to find anything from vinyl records and antique toys to tools and farm equipment. We've also had good luck with local online auction clearinghouse that gets items from local businesses selling overstock or going out of business. My mom got a king-size memory foam mattress for $100 this way. I've also seen loads of restaurant and food service items. So, hey, if you need a giant stainless steel prep table for when you process deer, etc., cabinets, power tools, furniture, hardware, etc., to get started, do a search for auction houses near your city. Number three, visit building reuse centers. 
We're lucky to live in an area with several building reuse stores. We have two local stores run by Habitat for Humanity, but there are a few other independent ones throughout the area. We've gotten things like wall tile, toilets, bathroom vanities, doors, and more from our local reuse centers. Sometimes you have to keep an eye out for hidden gems. One of our favorites was run by an older gentleman of the basement, out of the basement of an old elementary school building. We got two big tall windows for our bedrooms there, among other things. We found the, his store through word of mouth and would gladly have kept shopping there had he not passed away. Number four, look for demolition listings. These are listings from property owners who intend to demolish a house. Frequently, property owners will open the home to anyone willing to do their own demo work to get free or low-priced items. And often, this includes almost anything you can pry up in a home. Flooring, trim, cabinets, doors, windows, railings, etc. If you're willing to put in some time and sweat equity, you can walk away with thousands of dollars in materials for little or no money. Number six, or number five, estate sales. We happened upon an open house estate sale one day and decided to look, take a look around. We waited, once we waited past the mid-century furniture and shag carpet, we found a treasure trove of materials out in the back shed in the garage. There were loads of gardening tools, bags of potting soil, boxes of roofing shingles, paint, stains, power tools, and more. It obviously varies from house to house, but estate sales can be a homesteader's gold mine. I'll have to keep that in mind around here. Number six, yard sales and moving sales. Similar to estate sales, yard and moving sales can be a treasure trove. Whoever shopped my family's yard sale before we moved out of my childhood home scored big. We sold practically everything, including my dad's tools and everything from his shed. That included a nice Cub Cadet mower, weed eaters, leaf blowers, and an old CB radio, camping survival gear, and more. Scout out sale listings in local classifieds and on Craigslist. Craigslist. Sometimes you can also find virtual yard sale groups listed for your area on Facebook, so take a look. Number seven, put out an all-call for materials. Here's where social media can work to your advantage. If you put it out there that you're looking for particular materials or will be doing certain kinds of projects, there will often be people you know who are eager to get rid of things they don't need while helping a friend at the same time. When we were building our cordwood walls, I mentioned needing bottles to create bottle bricks. All of a sudden, I had friends saving bottles for us and giving us their stashes. Even just having your friends know about your building project can be helpful. When a friend was tearing up their old paver patio to put in a deck, we managed to snag all of their pavers for free. Sure, we had to go get them, load them, and then unload them, but we got hundreds of dollars in free materials and he avoided having to pay to haul them away. Number eight, barter and trade. This works well for services as well as goods. If you have a skill set, you can leverage your items that are valuable to someone else. You can barter or trade for what you need. Check with neighbors, relatives, and friends to see if they have any useful items they'd like to trade with you. You can also check the Craigslist barter section for your nearest city. In the process of writing this, I checked mine and found listings for American guinea hogs, a crane, a truck toolbox, and .6 acres of land. Number nine, scratch and dent. Don't count out your local big box stores just because you're not buying full retail. We visit ours a lot and often find lots of scratch and dent items sitting out for sale. They'll usually put these in the specific aisles towards the back of the store. Besides the usual fare of appliances, you can also find things like cabinetry, sinks, tubs, paneling, open box flooring, miscolored paint, and more. Okay, I see that one. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Hope you got some good photos. Ray Brothers. Guys, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Good life. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Woo! Wow, they had great weather. Oh, man, we got 20, 30 shots. Rich? Anyway, so that was nine ways to get building materials cheap or free. And cheap especially helps. Cheap and free especially helps. So that was that one. And I'll go ahead and. Yeah, I think I'll have Chloe do an intro video or an intro to it just because I think it's going to help help the videos out more. And 
I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do another one today. I'm really, really tired. So I may just go ahead and paint for a while. So I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon as I will be uploading the videos that Chloe has fixed for me. And I will see you guys on the next one. You guys all have a good night. And if you're new to the channel, we are Faith First Farm and Homestead. And we have 12.54 acres down here in Oklahoma. And you can go through our videos and hear all about our plans and everything, especially our live video that I did, which is called Faith First is Going Live. And... In that video, I go through and explain about our property and what all our plans are. I show our poster and what animal, talk about the animals that we're planning on getting and our cabin builds and all that. So <laughs> go ahead and pull up that video and pull up a seat and watch it and like and share the videos, especially share the videos to all of your homestead friends and neighbors and Tell them to share the videos and tell them to tell their friends to share their videos and to share them on all their platforms and to recommend the channel and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell and hit all so you get all the notifications. And if you want a quick subscribe, at the end of the videos there is a quick quick subscribe circle on the end screen on the videos so you can go ahead and click that and just make sure you hit the notification bell and you guys all have a good night and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys